Okay, so this is the camera we shoot it. Through. That's the camera. Gotcha. Got your headset. Hello, everybody. You can hear yourself there. Hey, and we're looking good. Can can you guys hear us? First of all, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Okay. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> hello, everybody. Yeah. Okay, guys, you can hear us. Everybody. I'm like, can you guys hear us? Everybody say hello, hello. <laughs> now the second question is, can you see us? Everything is good. Sound is good. Guys, uh, I'm not going to take too much time with the introduction because obviously we're running a little bit late. But look who just landed in the studio. We have Samuel today. So Samuel, the first thing that we do in something po anglitsky is to tell the rules, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, we speak mostly in English, but Slovak is welcome or Czech as you want. Second of all, if the question in the chat that we're going to react to is in um, Slovak or Czech or whatever, a language that we know, Japanese for you in, in your case, <laughs> then we answer it in that language as well. Uh, there's cursing allowed. You can say bad, word, bad words here, but only in Slovak or Czech. Oh, okay. So, for example, instead of saying AF, you would say AK. Okay. Uh, which, let me just mute it. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be the way to curse here. Um, there's a couple of things we cannot forget about. One is signing the PC. Every guest that's been here has signed the PC. And right. also I want to take a minute to thank the members of the channel, uh, which I will do afterwards. But for the people that don't know you, can you please, please tell us who the hell you are? Ah. Uh. Okay, so hello, I is Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I is Slovak YouTuber. <laughs> no, welcome everyone. Okay, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, Patriček, member. Patriček, díky moc. Uh, <laughs> welcome to A1 English Lab. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm a Slovak YouTuber, animator, gamer, vlogger, influencer, etc. Just video maker. And I've actually, I had a rare the rare pleasure of interacting with you before the podcast, uh -huh. which is something that I don't get to do with my guest. And guys, I'm already telling you that we have probably the best English so far. You are tied with Lady Hoonigan. Lady Hoonigan had... Yeah, really decent. Really decent English. But thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, so, so we're going to have a great podcast, great discussion, a lot of interesting topics to discuss. Uh, we're going to get started right off the bat. And just my question to you is, how would you describe your content? Well, it all started by with me creating like Minecraft content because I, I used to play Minecraft really often. So I've decided to make like Minecraft videos. And this kind of exhaled to me getting, you know, exposed. Not exposed, but is the wrong word. Um you know what is the how, what is it called when some youtubers just show their face i did a face reveal and that, oh, that actually yeah, yeah, yeah. opened the gate for me to create like more videos like in real life and that is the reason why i just you know changed my minecraft content to something completely different and i'm really grateful for that because now minecraft is completely dead I'm yes. really sad about that because I love Minecraft. I will still love Minecraft because because of Minecraft, I'm here where I am. And yeah. look, look at the at the comments there, Samuel. Wow, his English isn't that bad. Uh, mm. They like your English. Stop, yeah. stop. No, it's not that good. Man. <laughs> oh, we, we, oh, we forgot about the green green screen king. Yeah, no, guys, I, I can't be yeah, bothered Duke to change Luke, that now. <laughs> Duke Luke, the nitro piece. Oh, yeah, Duke Luke actually <laughs> wrote that something about Did he? that. Yeah. Where? Let me go up. And uh, he was like, yeah. Duke Log is in the um, chat. Yeah. Turn off green screen. <laughs> can you can you give him the moderator there? To Duke Log? Yeah, Duke Good Log. user in timeout. <laughs> <laughs> Add a moderator. Make him a, make him a moderator. Yeah, you've been reduced to moderating my channel, Dushan. Wait, wait, am I able to put a user in timeout? Yeah, 
Did you <gasps> did you just Actually, put somebody? No, no, no. no. Okay, just... okay, it works because I thought I I cannot do that with no. moderator, but <laughs> it's remake for me for 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 him. And you deleted the message too. Oh really? Oh Jesus! Oh, it does I'm, that. I'm okay, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's that's low key passive okay. aggressive. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Samo, we have some good news. We have the most viewers that we ever had really? at one point three hundred and six. Wow, you guys are crazy. Thank you. I think your people are really looking forward to seeing you. Uh, so you mentioned that Minecraft was a thing. I want to know how did you buy your first copy of Minecraft? This is a really interesting <laughs> story. So yeah, I come from a really strict family that didn't allow me to buy any kinds of games. And uh, yes, for me to oh yeah, I was already you know making Minecraft videos with the non-original. Minecraft account because it is it was possible on a fire yes. sale you found you found it heavily discounted uh, we say well <laughs> no it, the, the way it works is you basically download the Vares launcher it's called and you just write the name or the nickname you want to have in, in Minecraft you basically log on to it and you can play on non original servers which are really popular here in Slovakia but you cannot just you you, you cannot play on the bigger you know the biggest servers. Such as Hypixel, etc. People that play Minecraft actually know uh, what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, I wanted to move on to buy my 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 very own Minecraft account, but I had no possibility to do that because my parents didn't allow me to. So uh, how how old were you then? Uh, thirteen. Oh, and I actually young. had the money, but parents thought that buying me Minecraft, the game which I already played back then would actually cause me not you know learning stuff to school and stuff uh -huh. so i had no other chance but to sneaky peeky just see how my dad uses his credit card to buy stuff on the internet i just saw that and i, I and when he wasn't home i took his credit card and bought minecraft for myself <laughs> with that card and uh yeah i actually remember That in my house, you have the staircase. And when you sit on the staircase, you can actually see through the window what's happening in front of the house. So I was just sitting every time uh, because I, I I didn't have like PC allowed for the whole day. So I basically took the laptop. I was sitting on the, on, on, on the, on the staircase and watching like my parents, uh, if, they, if they come home or not. Like you, I, I could see the car, you know, parking in the, in the front, yard, uh, front yard. And uh, yeah, I remember that I bought a Minecraft. I was really happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was already setting my skin, my nickname. I was actually, you know, uh, you know, joining the first you know, original servers, which I didn't, I wasn't allowed to back then. And then I just seen my my dad just drifting his car in a reverse, in a reverse, you know, to do the friend yard. He was really pissed off. He he went, he, yeah, he <laughs> he went to the house. Um, was really angry. Like Samuel, like instantly, like right now, calm back down. And he was like, what is the notification? And he actually got the notification oh, from yeah. the transaction from the bank oh, no. app. So, and and it didn't, I didn't know about that. So, and like, what is this? Like some Swedish, you know, Swedish factory. Like, what is this Mojang? Like, what is this? Like Minecraft? What's Minecraft? And uh, he was really afraid that I'm going to do this and like steal his car to buy, to buy, you know, stuff. And uh, I actually received like a little slap, like, you know, decent slap <laughs> jesus man so i think this was the last slap that i've received from my or i that my father you know that, that was the last time last time my, my dad slapped me i uh, but i, I, I <laughs> technology totally betrayed you actually people are complaining about the green screen filter guys it's too late we are live i'm not messing with the settings now i apologize but no because my t-shirt is glitching look you can see through <laughs> does it really matter that much No, it doesn't. So, guys, again, I'm sorry, Shut but up. please goof dog and Murdy moderators. Yes. So, where is Murdy? So, they can be... <laughs> Duke Log is already a moderator. <laughs> no, so I'm just so sorry, Dushan. Yes, <laughs> can you find him and unblock him, please? Because you destroyed him. No, I didn't. I gave him I gave him like a time the time out for, but for how five long? minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. But I didn't know that's possible. He's going to kill me. Yeah, but <laughs> let's make sure that he knows it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's paper. Oh, we're man. taking the mouse away from... Did he from text <laughs> me? Did he text I hope me? he... Oh, he called me. Oh, God, now? 
<laughs> he's gonna be yeah, he's, so he, he's mad. He's gonna be pissed off. But so where is where is where is Murdi to give him the moderator, guys? Uh, Tomas, if you can comment there, so I can give you the moderator. Man, so after that, did you? You didn't have to return the game. You got to keep it, right? Yes. And what no chance to was refund. it worth it? Yes, it was. Because then my whole YouTube career started at its finest. So how how did that go from you becoming a YouTuber? Um Okay, so I'm going to talk about how I started like in general on yeah. YouTube. My first ever YouTube channel was created in 2011 when I created my first Gmail account and those times were the times where iPad was really popular in Slovakia and we as a family received our first iPad and I don't and I personally downloaded the Talking Tom and Talking Ben applications. I'm really sure you know Wait, like, is that? Talking Tom that creepy cat? Yes, the creepy that repeats after you. Oh, God. And uh, there was like a feature in in the app that uh could record the actual repeating the whole like thingy and I could you know uh, upload the recording to YouTube from the actual app. So I didn't even access my YouTube dashboard or whatever. I just created my first ever video from Talking Ben, I believe. And I uploaded the video from the actual app. This was my first ever YouTube video that I ever uploaded on YouTube. And Can we still find it or it's gone? Uh, no, no, uh. I'll get to that later because I deleted the whole channel because I was, you know, really, really shy and uh, I was just so embarrassed of what I did because the videos were just so embarrassing, so awkward. Um, and uh, then I created my second channel, which was called Studio Moon TV, uh, the same name as I have now. But, but problem, it's not the same channel. It's not the same channel okay. because... I actually was really, really active on that channel. I, I somehow managed to download my first editing software, uh, software uh, to um, download my recording software. So I, I created my first ever uh, Minecraft videos. And uh, yeah, so on that channel, I actually uploaded like, I don't know, three or four or six videos. But then I actually uh, uploaded a video with curse in that, you know, the bad word in that. And my... Parents actually, some someone is calling you. Some uh, my my parents actually. Somebody was calling me. <laughs> <laughs> some, Past some, tense. And my my parents actually s- have seen the exact one video from all of them, which I cursed in, and they forced me to delete the, the all the video. Not not being, making them private. Delete deleted from the whole channel. Uh, whole oh, channel. God. So this was like the red flag for for me. So I had like 150 subscribers and it just all went to trash. Let me just segue and ask, how do they see you now as a YouTuber after in the beginning they were not behind you? They really need to had to have the understanding. Like they built this, understa- this understanding for me as a YouTube creator so they can, you know, know what I'm what I'm doing but okay this was like later when they found out I get money from it then it was very started to be uh, interesting for them but uh yeah so I so well I don't know how but I deleted the second channel also because I was just so mad like okay just go from scratch like again like from zero from the point zero so I created my my third channel which is the channel I record my videos until now which is Studio Moon TV and uh yeah i just went on like what I what I what I had been doing back then. Is that the last channel that you made? Yes. Well, no. I have some other channels as well. I, my first channel is Studio Moon TV. Then I have the Mesiac channel, which is basically Moon in translation to Slovak. Um, then I have the channel called Machka Jackie, which was the which channel I absolutely adore oh. and love. <laughs> and I had I had no idea that it was you. Really, I really I, I had no idea that it was you, but really? I wow. it's, it's just such a <laughs> it's just such a cool concept, and she's Thank so you. sassy. Wow, she's so sassy. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Yeah. I love it. It's such a Amiritsky humor. Mm, it, it's not mm. it, it's not <laughs> Slovak humor. It's just very American humor, which I really I'm enjoy. I'm really sad that my cat, like Jackie, I don't know if we if we are gonna talk about her in this live stream but she actually changed a lot like she We isn't should. in the in the mood of recording videos anymore and that's the reason why I don't record on that channel anymore poor baby we definitely should but before we do that guys <clears throat> let me just walk through what we're going to see today or what we're going to be covering just so you guys know to stick around till the end because you guys come and watch for like two minutes and leave and actually could you please 
give a little shout out to to my mod team to Ludmila, Nati, and Lou. In Slovak? Yes, please. Lou Vojtekova as well. Dobre, takže chcem dať shout out všetkým moderátorom, všetkým moderátorom, ktorí sa tu uh, starajú o náš chat a ktorí tu zajistil poriadok v našej diskuzii, takže veľmi vám ďakujem. Takže George, Ludmila C, Naty, uh, Lou, Lou, počkaj, ide. O, oh, Lou Vojtikova, Vojtkova, pardon. Takže všetkým moderátorom. A ahojte, každopádne, <laughs> moderátori. Uh, ďakujem vám a ďakujeme za poriadok. They're working on overtime because we are not used to so many people in the chat. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, this is like a lot. But guys, on today's uh, podcast, so we're going to be uh, talking with uh, Samuel about his family. That's one topic that we're going to cover. We're going to talk about the many times, more than once, that he's been at risk Mm-hmm. <laughs> because of things that could happen to him. We're going to be talking <laughs> <laughs> about his education as well and his influences. Mm-hmm. We're going to be talking about his love for spicy food. Wow. Even though his <laughs> reek pays the price <laughs> at the end. And we're also going to be dealing with topics like sleep paralysis as well. We will wow, mention really a little bit. Mm-hmm. And also about your... The time that you got kicked out of driving school. But that's oh, that's for the end. That's a good one. That, that's for the end, guys, if you stick around till the end. Uh, I also want to thank the people that have become members of the channel. Uh, we have uh, here A1, A2, B1, B2, and C1 mm-hmm. uh, for people who, who become members. And if you are interested, go ahead and join. Most importantly, though, subscribe. Help the channel grow so we can bring more cool people yeah, like sure. Samuel here. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> because actually, again, I have to thank you because, again, I've been, uh, this passion project of mine, something Boanglitsky, I've just written people. Mm-hmm. Like, I've gotten suggestions suggestions, blah, 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 suggestions from people and I've written people like, out of 100, maybe 30 reply. Mm-hmm. And you're one of those people and... I, I think for me that's a testament of being humble and staying oh, true so to that's really nice of you. So what why what motivated you to want to come to this podcast which well, is a, I've, I've I'm never, a nobody. I've I've never had an English interview so that might be, I I told myself that might be interesting it also is a really nice concept a concept of yours like creating this kind of podcast here in Czechoslovakian scene. I I think it's really needed here because surprisingly a lot of people or a lot of like big names on your podcast which I've seen um actually knew english like really well or okay, right like not on the on the best possible level but they could actually you know handle the conversation like in in their in their level so i mean i mean uh it really surprised me that a lot of people in slovakia can actually speak english really well so i mean why why not to also be a contendant <laughs> samuel maybe a question for you because i think again you are at the top of the game right successful mm-hmm. young person and i was telling you this off the off the camera right that uh, i'm impressed that i wish i was where you were at your age oh thank you uh, that level of maturity didn't come to me till maybe i became 38 oh, it hasn't wow. come yet <laughs> wow it will come in the future this is also the thing <laughs> people would you tell he's 38 37 37 <laughs> uh, i i actually thought like he's like 27 or 26 or something like that like it's the latino genes <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. But you actually told me you looked a bit older a few I years. I did. Like, you actually started to take care of you. Because I was like tučni. Oh, tučni. I was a little <laughs> bit tučni, so I look older. Hey, yo, Slovenčina, we just I just uh. bring it in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. That used to be the case. But anyway, once again, thank you for, for taking the invitation. Thank and you for again, having me. I think that uh, we will look back on this interview and realize that it was... A great success. Yes, yes. Already you're liking it. Okay, I'm making sure that I have no suspicious notes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, God, this is yeah, you <laughs> I forgot one. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you, we were just uh, with Dushan in his studio, and apparently some notes were some drawn. some nice symbols on his yeah, remarkable. So, <laughs> so thank God that I got rid of most of them. <clears throat> But back to the discussion. Sure. Um, let me... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, I'm just really afraid to to move to the different pages because I don't know when I'm going <laughs> to find it. <them. laughs> actually deserve the timeout. 
<laughs> for that. Actually, yes, give him again another time out there. Why is it that you had a a 1 hour PC limit? Oh, in your household. D- because my parents were really really strict because they had no understanding back then like what PC gaming was about. Like people from uh the generations of my parents see the PC gaming as a way to, you know, spoil yourself and uh they see it's very addic- addictive and if you, you know, get into gaming, you can get into gambling really quickly because also gaming is kind of gambling and addiction and uh they don't really see the 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 um, like advantage of you know gaming because a lot of people just want to ex- escape their trouble in their life mm-hmm. and they're just you know gaming and it makes them feel better and but they don't see it like that they don't see like having the opportunity to actually get money from it so my my parents were really scared of me just getting addicted to the game so that was the reason why i only had like one hour uh permitted per day You, know, I, you mean of gaming or using for anything? Using using my whole computer, but uh parents still don't know to this day that uh I wasn't one day per I uh, I was I wasn't on my computer one or, or the family computer one hour per day on the computer. Uh I <laughs> I actually um when they were on home, like I knew the password. I was on the on the computer. <laughs> sneaky, but, sneaky. But, <laughs> but it wasn't but it wasn't right because I always had to make sure they're not home or they they're not coming home and the car's not here, etc. etc. So Man, this 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 is like a mission impossible here for you when you were yeah. a little kid. But it, it was really adventurous, and I and it was really good for me because now back then, okay, back then when I was you know 14, I, I had like one hour permitted per day being on PC. I really had to you know take take the time with care and just do as much as possible. Mm. So I really like did everything that I could just not to be lazy and just you know troll what I was planning to do. Whereas now I have just full day you know having you know computer wherever i want but i i'm just lazy and uh, i just cannot stick with animating or doing videos because i always go on youtube and see just crap videos and i see that adventure you know? <laughs> is a key word for you we had a quite an adventure today uh, yeah <laughs> yeah we had we, ha- we kind of had <laughs> actually guys you you guys that follow samuel you might be angry with me but i took him on the bus wow yeah <laughs> <laughs> he had to be on the bus with the poor people. I don't want his last time <laughs> I went on the bus. Uh actually let me uh can I set up the fan for you there? No, it's okay. You it's sure? Okay. I feel alright. I feel alright. If it starts to get too warm, we have a very good fan here. So I oh. will I will put it here for Doing you. On my balls a bit. Okay. No, no, we'll put it there. Oh, all right. No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Before we forget, let's get down to the signature of the PC. Oh, all right. Okay. Because I sense. I tend to forget these things. So where is the where is the where is the signing the, signing the? signing thing? So start thinking of where you Marker want or something. Yeah, I'm going to give it to you just start thinking of where you would like Oh, it looks like the camera's frozen. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, and I am Dr. I am Mr. D. One hour is super benevolent actually. Up until like 13 to 14, I have tw- I had 20 minutes allowed wow that's actually crazy i couldn't live the w- I, i wouldn't i i just couldn't live the with that i'm just gonna handle it See so guys he, he's signing the pc D- do, you, do you mind drawing your little moon character there oh i don't know if i able to able to because oh wait um if you can't it's not a big deal I'm just like, uh, like this like i, I will yeah, try my best but i like that How big is that monitor? That monitor is 48 inches. 48 inches. Yeah. This is a uh, this is the first OLED monitor from Gigabyte. Actually Linus Tech reviewed it. Oh, great. Uh it's not worth it guys, don't buy an OLED monitor. Because you know what happened? I have screen burning. Oh. So I can see like those icons there at the top there kind of there forever. Oh, this so. is very unfortunate. So it's not worth it, especially for me that just I use this beast for podcast. I'm not okay. really gaming so much. <laughs> All right. So it's it's kind of a shame. So we did that the next thing before we forget Samuel, is we got to take a picture for the for the good old oh, Instagram. Oh, okay. With the mics. You get? Hey. And I screwed up. Again. Very good. Should be. 
back to the discussion. So the one hour limit. I I also I didn't have a one hour limit, but I I don't know if you ever got oh, to sorry, experience. Sorry, uh, yep. Change it, change it. Oh yeah, yeah. We we gotta change the camera back. We always forget to do that. But I don't know if you remember the fifty six k modem when you used to have like a telephone line going into your computer. Yes. And my parents were like, they didn't want me playing at all because I used to play Diablo, mm, Diablo yeah. 2. Oh, yeah. And my mom, classic. my mom is a Latino mom. When I brought that game home, <laughs> she was like, oh, ay, Dios mio. Like, oh my God. Like, why do you want to, to play a game about the devil? <laughs> and I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. mom, it, it's not about the devil. It's just called Diablo. Oh, no, no. And she just very dramatic, my mom. So I would used to have to play at night and I would actually wrap uh this uh bed sheet around the computer so it mm. wouldn't make the noise of uh of the modem when it was calling the internet like ah, ah, mm. ah, ah. it was the craziest thing man yes but that's what you have to do for gaming yes i'm not that old to remember it in like really practical life but i don't be glad uh, but i i know i know what is it i think it it, it had like its functionality in the early 2000s But I don't understand it like really clearly, but I know it worked. I mean, you're lucky that uh, that the infrastructure for internet in Slovakia is better because in the US, it's old. We have really slow internet, like really slow internet and really expensive, mm. extremely mm. expensive. Why is that? It's because, you know, we got it first. So most of the infrastructure is very old and to oh, replace everything okay. is expensive. Okay, I get it. Okay. So that's why countries like, for example, Lithuania has some of the fastest speeds yes, in the world. South Korea. Yeah. Just rolling with that internet speed. But talking about South Korea, I w- I know we were discussing the topic about Japan. Mm-hmm. I'm extremely jealous. Uh I hate you. No, I I'm just lying. <laughs> you were just in Japan, man. I was following your pictures. Yes. I'm in love with Japan. Yes, I am also in love with Japan a bit, but I th- It like for me Japan is kind of overrated. Okay, just don't get me wrong. No, no. I love Japan, but the 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 reality that I, that I experienced as someone who went like single-handedly to, to Japan, like I, I wasn't with anyone else. So some people will go like in the in a group of three mm-hmm. or four. Some some of the people like uh anime, they know like why they're going to Japan, but I only personally like the language. This is the reason why I went there because I studied the language. This is the reason why I went to Japan. And I'm not like in like super nerd into any like the only anime I've ever seen was Death Note. I didn't I, the, I for example Pokemon I only know Pikachu. Yeah. It's the only like I don't know nothing about Pokemon or I don't know any um uh, anime characters. So it, I'm So the only reason I went to Japan was just because I loved loved language. I'm really shocked. I thought that you would uh, like more animes because when I was doing research it one of the things is that you watched anime. So what really? Yeah. It was one of the things watch, that as a I, fact I watch anime. Where is that? No. I I I will need I, to I sh- draw anime. I draw anime, but I don't watch anime. I will need to show you. So you never seen things like for example Attack on Titan? Seen a couple of episodes. Not your thing. No. No. Oh. Well, don't get me wrong like it looked really great, mm-hmm. but it didn't take it didn't take my breath mm-hmm. as Death Note did. Death Note is a good one. Death Note is really great. Like I was really addicted to it. Like I I, I just spent whole day watching episodes Even in English, in English because it was really complicated watching Japanese and my Japanese isn't like definitely isn't on the level where I can understand Death Note like fully because there's no chance. So. Even with Titulki? No. No. Just <laughs> English. Wow, relief. Okay, I could just sit all day. I I I, <laughs> I totally get you because I Oh, well, some 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 of them I really like to watch with Titulki. Um My favorite anime is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I I have heard about that, but I don't it's know what it is. Really, sorry, really sorry anime up. fans. Sorry, sorry everyone that loves anime. Um, I draw anime, I can draw whatever you want. But no, just I don't watch it. If uh, you show me a picture, I can draw it, but no, I don't watch. <laughs> and, and actually that's an interesting segue that you mentioned because you were telling me Actually, you were showing me your artwork, mm-hmm. and wow! Oh, thank you. <laughs> and you were telling me that people don't know that you can actually draw. Well, 
some of the people I think some of the people actually seen me my, my drawings because I, I think I revealed or show showed like those pictures on the videos somewhere but uh yeah I basically used to draw since when I was I have been drawing since, since I was a little kid you know the only thing I, I like my most favorite thing was to draw but the what happened was when I was in primary school teacher were, were like really really angry at me that I draw in, in the, you know, Slovak, um, Slovak, um, like sheets. you were yeah. doodling. Yes. And they didn't like, like they're like animated characters all over my, my own textbook. Like it's my notepad. It's my mm. textbook. Like, why do you care so much? And it, some, like, it helps, angry. it helps some people to concentrate. Like yes. I need to. Yes. Yes. And, uh, one teacher was so angry that she gave me the, what is the thing that detention? Like, Yeah, the tension. She gave me the tension for my drawings and my textbook. And she actually forced me to draw like a little line under every single drawing in my textbook. So my parents could, you know, sign it. So yeah, I'm an ass I, I I'm 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 a stupid boy. I'm a stupid boy. Yeah, you stupid, yeah, because it, it, it felt like that to me. I don't know why why she was so angry. What did your parents say? Did they They were care? angry. They were angry for I don't know whatever the reason, but for me it was just stupid. Because why do you care so much? Like it's my textbook, it's my thing. But I was like sixth grader. But still, why do like why do you care so much? Like is it something really uh, inappropriate? No, like um. no. Why? Like, and this was the time when I just completely left from drawing. And uh, then years, years, years later, 2019, when I started to animate the videos, then I I started you know started to draw again. And I told myself, yeah, I I should you know take that to another level. So I learned myself, you know. I I I learned how uh, how to draw you know anime thingies and you know I think to me is I have a theory on people Samuel that some people thrive on putting other people down and some people they are in places where they have a little bit of power and they like to show mm. that they are in power like you yeah. encounter these kind of people all the time look there's a comment there um uh, I am so bad in English from LM official but I understand everything with you. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty easy to understand uh, some old guys. Um so what made you return to drawing after that so, experience? So uh, uh, can you can you repeat that? Yeah, what made you come back to drawing because oh, you what, said Oh, what yeah. made you? Okay, what made me what made me come back to drawing? Uh because I had an idea to do the animated video Draw My Life which was really revolutionary on my channel. Uh, and people like that, <laughs> so I decided to. Okay, I all my life I really wanted to do like animated series, but I I just had like no opportunity or no no camera or no equipment to do that. So the the only way I I did my first animated videos was was with you know the button phone like the first Nokia's and stuff. Mm -hmm. I put that on on a little stand, you know, which was point, pointing down to the paper. So I draw something with a pencil. Um, And I did the basic stop motion, you know, thing. I started the recording, then paused the video, erase something on the, on the character, changed it. For example, you know, moved the hand a little bit down. Then just, you know, resumed the re recording, then just paused, like, right, like, millisecond after that, just erase the thing, and over and over and over. So this was my... So those those were my, like, first animated videos ever, in like, 2010, 11, 12, so when I was 10, 11. How long did it take you to do it? Uh, the whole afternoon, like, for, I don't know, one month, one, one minute video. But now I have the right equipment to do it. I have the graphic tablet. I have the right software to do it. I have the right uh, software to animate in. And uh, I also have the experience with video editing and my, you know, uh, video editing software. So I know, like, how the, how the thing works, how to worry with background, the video effects, how to work with sequence and, you know, with the timeline and, and, and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I, I just took that to my advantage to try, to try, like, from experience that I gained from YouTube to actually create the animation, but on another level with the experience I already gained from, you know, basic YouTube videos. And it kind of worked out, uh, worked out, and now I do animated videos, like, really, really often. Like, a few, few times a, a year, but it takes a lot, a lot of time. Yeah, how, do, how does that process look like, if you can walk us through? Because I think a lot mm -hmm. of people don't appreciate enough how long it can take. All right, so first of all, you need to know how to draw. <laughs> Because if you don't know how to draw... like Okay, I'm out. Every, <laughs> so okay, but, okay, see, everyone can draw. Like, everyone in this chat, in the world, 
is able to draw something. Even like a little, you know, big, like a stick big. A little prasiatko. Prasiatko. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, my middle name. <laughs> yeah, but I think you really need to, the idea and say like, okay, this is the idea I really want to spend the next two months on, like animating and script and stuff. So you, you need to come up with idea. Then you need to write down the script, which I don't use any rules for that. I just, you know, think, I just write what I think, how I would, you know, say it, like to you. Um, and then I dub it, like I do a voiceover in my video editing software. And uh, right after that, uh, right after that, I just do the animated uh, animated video. So I open Photoshop, I do the first drawing, I um, I save it like a PNG file for the folder, like the name one, I save it. Then I moved the hand a little bit, save it to oh, wow. a hand just a little bit down, save it number three, so four, you, five. You, you are not manipulating in software, you are actually creating the different pictures. Yes, yes. And, and uh, so I I create like, I don't know, 10 pictures per 15 minutes. So my whole animation, of course, some of the, some of the, some of the pictures, some of the, images I just stretch in time in time so I don't use to like do like, so many of them so I, I can just use like 10, 10, 10 frames per second it doesn't need to be 60 it doesn't need to be like smooth I just can use like three like like there are some there are some you know there are some mm, some I don't know for each for each expression and each movement I use like my different uh, approach how to do it but um one one whole animated video has approximately th- three or four thousand pictures that I like single handedly you know draw like picture by picture at three thousand three thousand yeah, minutes. Did you did you guys realize the amount of work that it and goes this the in? Thing, and this is the thing that uh, yeah, it's not it's not about how well you can draw, but what patience you have because the patience is the most important thing when you do this kind of animated video because you wake up and all day the whole day you, wh- what you do you just draw you just draw the whole day it drives you crazy mm-hmm. like first day okay second day all right it could be third day all right i can survive that but do you need this for for the two months straight like every single day like i i can you know i can say that it wouldn't take so long if I actually kicked myself and did my job like properly because all all the, what I do all day you know I spend half day animating and half day watching YouTube videos because I'm just oh, okay so mentally washed out I just cannot you know I just you know minimize Photoshop and just hop on YouTube and see uh, cars like um, uh, see videos like car versus lava for example like nothing like. N- Crap videos. J- I need to do something different. That Don't you should. think it helps you in your process, though? Yes, it does. I need to do something different because otherwise I w- I w- it would just drive me crazy. <laughs> Look at Ludmila nah, procrastinating his life. Yes. <laughs> and so the, 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 you know, how brave you are in, in, in the process and how well you're organized and uh, how, how good are you willing to do this? This is what, you, what, what, what saves you. And what patience you have. This, this is what, what it saves you. Because some, some people, I had some colleagues that actually told me, wow, I can draw it. Like, I will try to do the animated videos. They actually made like three or four images. They just quit. Couldn't handle that. Well, I mean, now that you told me 3,000, 4,000 images, Jesus Christ. That takes dedication. Not, I... Yeah, really, you really need to, to have that. But I have the motivation for it because I love my fans. I, I, I know what they want. It also makes me happy because I can just create my my my, my visual something that I always wanted to to have and also and um, uh, to be honest I don't really I don't even know like how much money I made from those animated videos I only care about how many people see it and what and what feedback it gets after all that gives me pause to think about a quote that I read that you you said which is I concentrate on creation not numbers yes yes sure how how is it is that something that you still stand by? And if you do, how is it that you can do this when so many become so... Like Mr. Beast is at the top of the game, but he spends his entire life now just looking and focusing at numbers. Yes, just wait a second because I'm over... over You're overexposed? Right yes, overexposed. I know worries. Okay, no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, well, okay, to be honest, when I was starting, you know, with my YouTube thingy, I started my YouTube career and I was making uh, much money. I really, really cared about money. I really need, I really wanted to, you know, uh, 
earn I don't know 100 euro per per month then it was 500 euro per month 1000 10000 50000 and lives and it, it went on but now when I'm on the top I am on the level where I don't actually realize like how much money I have because I can just live with that like what I have just uh, my my income can be counts in a matter of okay thousands to you know the 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 smaller ten tens of thousands mm-hmm. per month depending on on the on the on you know how well youtube advertisement goes but now i when when i'm on the top and i actually okay i i actually achieve my goal i don't really care about it i don't know like what salary do i do i have i don't know like how much money i made from from the last like my girlfriend uh just sent the invoice to my uh, companies that actually pays me money like vidadu and uh, real geek for my merch and i don't even know like i don't even look at my bank account like what what money like comes to my like i don't care like the only thing i care about is the feedback from my fans like i actually achieved what i what i wanted to achieve and now i really see like i just like money it, it just it's nothing for me now like the only thing i care about is like how how my fans see me how i can influence my fans life i want to you know change their lives or at least give them opportunity to actually somehow get out of troubles to see my videos or you know support them this is the thing I really care. So, for example, I I like I care like eighty percent, eighty percent. I care about like my fans, my feedback, and what videos I make. And those twenty percent are like okay, money. Well, okay, it's it's fine, but money are just on on you know last possible aspect that I look for. Just and I think that you, a lot of people give you flack because of your audience, uh, but you say something that really made me think, and it's the fact that you said that yeah. And I'm I'm only I'm not quoting you directly. I'm paraphrasing because I don't remember the exact quote, mm. but that your fans might be ten, but eventually they will be sixteen and so on. So yes, h- how does it feel for you to know that you are shaping people? Well, all right. So yeah, this uh, yeah I really really needed to think about this like for a very very long time because I realized that. When I was a child and some and some of my favorite I'm not gonna mention, but some YouTubers were like really mad at me. I still remember it to this day and look where I'm now. I'm like YouTuber on the same level as the person that insulted me when I was a child. I'm actually, you know, able to collaborate with him. I actually have the, you know, uh power to influence the, the other lives. Like th- this this is my this is my passion to do, you know, to bring, you know, joy to, to my fans' lives by doing YouTube videos. And uh, when I when and when I realized that when I am mad to like this th- those you know ten year olds or eleven year olds, they will remember it because for you know sixteen or seventeen years old are really like they they don't really care if if for example I or other people uh, greet them, but little ch- children are really really honest in an emotional way. They will just be really really happy and they will show it to you like they have no mental they have no borders like no 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 mental borders to actually show you like how much they en- enjoy you so they're really open to those emotions you know uh, in terms of you know youtubers and idols and the role models etc so when you're mad to those like sensitive people you know tens or 11 years old uh people uh they're they, they will remember it and now see those people when they they will also eventually uh grow up and be successful some of them will be you know um politicians or high you know high level uh businessmen or like really really power like uh, just i don't know like exactly like they can be like on a really really high level of society and they can actually you know it's it's not worth it it's not mm-hmm. worth it because all the people just are mad at children but they will also eventually be be adults and they will remember it and it will like come back to you like it's not worth it just be happy for whatever audience you have because um you're also because people are always you know uh appreciating the older fans but if they don't care about the younger fans they will have no reason to watch you like for a longer time because you will get the, the older fans will go off your YouTube channel eventually because very they, quickly yes very well. quickly and you will not you will not um you will not get the younger fans you will just you know, how how do you them. how do you deal with uh, because I think I've noticed a few young fans that have come to to watch my stuff and they tend to write a lot and mm. then yes. and they they want to talk to you and 
you know, I try to reply to everybody and I try to engage and not be because I, I, I know how it is when you're trying to, to read somebody, but how do you deal with the amount of probably messages that you get uh, from <laughs> them that uh, they just it's, write you hello or how are you? It's or really <laughs> easy. I, I don't. Uh-huh. Like I get I get five messages a minute from five different people. So Hello, hi, how are you? Well, yeah, how are you? Or hi, I have your merch. So well I do reply to some of my fans if something really important happens or you know they want to, you know, warn me about something or give me like really private information like Yo, uh, I see your car. It's not parked properly. Like you're a policeman, po- policeman. So you better, you know, watch out. Like I get messages like oh, that. Really? Like people see my car, you know, parked like on the, on the on the wrong spot. Or this is just example. Yo, I'd be creeped out. Like you, you know my car, bro. But, but you already, <laughs> but you can already see like in the list of my message requests, like the people who can actually write you something on 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 the, on the level because some of the people just say sis or ciao or. Ahoy. What when does you, it you, mean? Sis mean, means tschüss. It's from uh, German. So, ah, so okay. people, so tschüss, sis, like CS, is just a, you know, abbreviation for, for tschüss in, in German. I don't know, people use it here, mainly children. But uh, when some when I see that, you know, the message requests and, and the title says, or the subject says, um, Ahoy, momentálne som v meste a vidím tvoje auto. It's actually really, like, it's really, Like it, it's it. Mm, you know I, I that there's something. Yeah, I I know it's something important, so I I see it. But um, and I have some people like from my I, I like my messages are uh, divided into three groups: my primary messages, my general messages, and my requests. Primary messages are the you know the main uh, is the main group. When I get Am my I group. in your primary or in your general? Primary, of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got my yes. notifications from. <laughs> Then the general are, you know, the fans that I replied to, but I don't want to get notifications from them. Requests are people that I never ever replied to. So those are my three groups. And some of the fans are even in the primary, which I talk about, you know, about animation and stuff. Like some of them are actually became my friends after oh, all. Wow. But um yeah, so it's possible, but Maybe yeah. maybe in this line of questioning, Samuel, can you, or actually, do you have any good example where you made a difference in the life of, of one of your fans? Mm, what do you mean by that? Like I that they wrote you, for example, that thank you because because of you I accomplished this or something that touched oh, you or moved one, you. Oh yeah, of course, it really touches me uh, when I see or hear some fans, you know, talking to me in real life. Because it's really touching because I, I'm the kind of person that I, I, I never go to any like fans meetings or stuff like meetups or anything like that. So when I eventually go and meet some fans, it's really, really special for me. So and sometimes like it actually ha- happened to me that some of my fans actually became my friends after all. Uh, because, for example, one one of my fans actually drew me like a really, really nice fan art and she was like... Uh, living really near my town so i actually um so, so i told like yeah i can just drive my car and just get the fun art and uh yeah right after that we actually talked about you know the animation video because we have the you know the same the same hobby so uh this is just an example i have like 10 like few people from my fans that I actually talk with today so i can you know tell like they're my internet friends or something like that but uh yeah It doesn't mean that my fans can never be my friends in real life. They just need to have the right approach and the right opportunity. And I just really need to get uh, into knowing them and have the opportunity to actually know them because some of them, no, I don't see like future in talking to them. <laughs> some, some of them, yes. <laughs> some, of you, some of you don't stand a chance and it can happen. So now we're going to move on to the next section in the podcast somewhere where I'm going to pick a random phrase. Oh, and I'm gonna try to teach it to you and the audience, right? Okay. okay. How I do it, it's with the uh, Miguel method, right? I'm going to ask you questions, and I'm going to lead you to that situation. Just answer the questions normally, okay, and remember, okay. this is fantasia, right? Okay. So let's see. Let's see what the book picks today. Mm. Oh, actually, this is a very good one. 
this is maybe something that people will know already but so uh i won't know that <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a, a question how did you learn to become a youtuber oh well i had the dedication and i was curious and i i wanted to surpass my <laughs> my classmate in, in subscribers so i you, wanted so to be better and known and famous and did you do some research did you look up at people or no so uh, you, well yeah i looked up to some people but for example PewDiePie, Jerry and Harry, KSI. Why KSI? Because he was really confident. I really need to be confident when I wanted to make YouTube videos. So this is a very good example. Did you have that confidence or you noticed that he had it and you wanted it? I really wanted it. Did you have it though? No. No. So this is something that you took from him. Yes. You took a page from his book. Ah. Take a page, page from his book. So now I'm going to issue a challenge. Can you try to use it in an example? Okay, so the sentence was to take a page from someone's book. Mm-hmm. All right, so for example, um okay, when I'm going to have uh, my own son or own daughter, and I'll be famous, I'll have money. I will not actually let my son to take the page of my book. I will tell I, I will tell him What? some experiences. Really? I will tell him some experiences, but I don't want to make him feel like he comes from a rich family because I know that I don't come from the rich family and I had to, you know, I I need to have the hunger and the dedication to uh, push myself more forward to actually be su- successful. So, if my if my son is already born into that, he will he will not have the hunger that I had. To be successful. Let me shake your hand, please. Because that's <laughs> that's exactly what I always tell people because people don't appreciate anything if you give them a car, if you give them a, an apartment or anything. Yes. They have to work a little bit yes. for for the things to Like to this this is the thing that I heard from Andrew Tate like I I don't really like his opinions on women, but this is the thing that I really really liked that he said. Like he is a really really great motivational speaker and he told me like it is um like um when you're born like th- there's the same situation like you have to 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 feel the acceleration and you, if you're in the car you don't actually feel in when you're doing 200 miles per hour uh when you're doing fast you do you feel the actual acceleration this acceleration you need to feel that in real life because when you're born in 200 miles per hour or kilometers per hour you know, you have nowhere to you know to 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 go you're always you always need to seek for 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 the for the acceleration in your life to have the hunger to have the feeling you have to do something uh, if you want to be successful and that's and this this is how i got successful and i want to you know um make my son or daughter feel this hunger well yeah if he wants to 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 i don't know go to any school yeah i have the financial um abilities to to actually help him but um i would just not to give him anything and spoil him like this will be really really hard but i think th- this is my opinion this is my opinion that i, I don't know when i will have my own children but I mean, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a very good frame mine frame of emotional mine. moon <laughs> so guys uh, we're going to be looking at uh, at the chat in a couple of minutes so you can start writing your questions now I do apologize that we didn't get to the chat yet but there's so many questions that you guys are typing so please type your questions again we are going to cover one more thing and then we'll look at the chat your education so you actually went to school to become a filmmaker mm-hmm. yes so I attended three primary schools and afterwards uh, I attended the film school in Košice and I studied uh, film filmography history of film history of movie um cinematography photography uh cameraman uh, or camera yeah camera work video editing and video special effects and that's basically all I did I want to touch on the cameraman but quick question mm-hmm. favorite movie wow <laughs> well really really hard question because even though I studied film uh, cinematography I don't watch movies what 
I didn't watch movies, man. <laughs> mind <It's>, blown. <laughs> yes, it's a mind blow, but... Okay, my favorite movie. I really like movies with Bud Spencer returns, so like the classic Italian comedi- uh, c- uh, c- comedy. Ha- have you seen Il Mostro? No. Roberto Benini? No. So it's it's an it's an amazing comedy that you would enjoy. It I hate talking about or speaking about movies because I don't watch them. I've seen like the basic, you know, the uh the uh, Avengers, the Endgame or Avatar, uh, Avatar, like all this those classes. Yeah, I've seen them in some part of my life, but I'm not a huge fan. For me it's a waste of time. I just cannot withstand, you know, th- you sitting uh, same uh, looking at the same spot like you need to create. I, yeah, I I do my own videos. I do my own animated videos which last for I don't know 40 minutes, but I just cannot do it myself with with actual movie. And we will get to your animated videos as well because I have a challenge to issue there. But let's look at the questions there. So there is a question, what was your feeling when you were making moving to Prague from your hometown? It was tough. Sabino was you. Sabino. It was tough. It was really tough because yeah, it was really mentally exhausting. And I had some other like uh I have some other I had some other problems. I'm looking at questions that people Yes, yes, I had some other problems during the the actual, you know, moving. It was weird just, you know, being in different environments so so like far away from from family and um I had some like really like, private complications with the the guy i actually had the the apartment with so yeah there's just many many things that that was just really really hard but you know it just life you know it happens so tell me about roommates though some i understand you perfectly well because i there was one experience in my life that made me stop wanting roommates mm-hmm. i had just cooked like i made the most delicious chili you mm-hmm. know chili yes of course so imagine the most precious delicious spicy with meat beans mm. chilies from mexico from mexico, no, mexico that you couldn't yeah. that you couldn't buy here oh thank you max he's been donating money like crazy max cool guy and i made the pot and i left it in the stove and then i was living i was renting a room in the and the guy was the owner of the flat i came back to the kitchen after i let it cool for like an hour and there was a huge like little portion that was taking out of my chili that he ate wow and he left me with barely anything and well, after that well but this is really but this is really uh cute but <laughs> my experience is that when i was um moving to prague my parents actually came to help me with moving because i was just so exhausted like imagine going from eastern slovakia to prague like 700 kilo- kilometers or whatever Just my roommate was from Prague, so he just moved from I don't know one part of Prague to another. Mm-hmm. But for me, it was so much like more difficult. I was like so like my my emotions were like poof, you know just sparkle all over the place because I had to you know you know do videos. It was your first time moving. My first oh, okay, time okay. ever oh, ever Jesus. ever. And my uh, and actually my my parents my girlfriend had to come to help me because I w- I I was just not able to do like what like anything. And then I found out that while I was, you know, doing stuff like creating videos, doing my best to actually like live or survive because I was just wow, it was just, it was like really really exhausting. Then I found out that my uh my roommate that actually lived with me was talking to my parents and my girlfriend while I I wasn't here, so behind my back. He told me like uh like don't you think like the the Samuel is uh is like totally like uh, uh unable to like deal with this like do you really think like uh this is the son you want to hear like he was actually talking crap about me in front of my parents and in front of my girlfriend and he was actually telling my girlfriend that uh I am actually really incapable of doing videos that I'm lazy and stuff and I was actually you know surviving and I was actually so happy that I even you know managed, managed to do videos because I was just you know I was just so overwhelmed by the whole situation and my uh, and, uh, and my um roommate was actually able to do that behind my back so then I actually uh, we actually ended up not talking to each other because of course I was mad because mm-hmm. you know this this like extremely weird uh, he was really jealous like I felt it he was really jealous because he was the, you know also the the youtuber as I was and we used to collaborate blah 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 but uh yeah he was I I felt like he felt something like against me so we ended up not talking to each other so I actually lived or I had been living in the same house 
with a roommate which I didn't talk to for months, like for several, I, I don't know, seven or eight months. So it was terrible, but I just cannot, I just cannot accept like someone like this talking crap with my parents, mm -hmm. with my girlfriend. Like, That's what not is normal. This? And he's like, I, I, I think he, he still doesn't understand like why I started to ignore him. And a lot of people don't know this, but I just cannot accept this. Just cannot like this. Is, this is I, I don't know who would. <laughs> I don't know who would, to be very honest. Yes. We also had some questions on our Discord channel. By the yeah, way, sure, sure. moderators, if you can plug the Discord in the chat. Uh, question for you. How have you been holding up since the crew got split up? Mm. Great. Great. Still doing my own thing. What was the crew? Because, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, have, I, I had some people like collaborating with me on my channel. But... I really felt that I just went through the roof and I just couldn't, you know, I really, really tried like to keep up with the guys even though I was doing nuts. And I really felt that when I was like really, really on like higher and higher level of understanding the content and everything, I really tried to understand and help those people which I collaborate with uh, in their like, you know, basic problems, not even, you know, be, like being very lazy to do videos, no ideas, etc. I was paying so much attention to them that I just could, you know, ignore it and, you know, do, do my own thing. So we actually stopped talking to each other because I think we felt that we are just on a different level and we just care about different things. And I personally think that uh, they were really like uh, acting like a friends to each other, but but they always you know see, have seen me as uh, as someone that was bigger, and they didn't like want to actually mess with me like really much because they were scared I would do like this video on them like th th like this is what I heard from them because I because I I really cared about it because they were my friends, but this aspect really really uh, affected our relationship. So uh, I mean it's it's completely normal like people get along, people like. Um, get away from each other it's completely normal and in this case i think it was because we had just different approaches in our lives so you evolve as people like every now and then i also change leave people behind because that's just how it is um next question is how did you manage to walk straight from the train to school from nudlichka does that make sense to you uh I think the guy used the translator and doesn't make sense, but I know what he's talking about. Basically, I have a girlfriend which I was, um, or which I had been visiting uh, two years straight from the eastern, you know, Slovakia to Ustin nad Labem, which is the western part of Czechia. Mm -hmm. So two years, two years in a row, I was traveling to see her every second weekend. Pardon. Nazarevicko. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this kept going on for two years straight. So, so two years every other weekend. Yeah, so every every second weekend, just Ustin nad Labem, just ten hour through night, you know, train. Wow, um, that's dedication. That's dedication. That's the reason why why we're like still together because we have the nice history in the relationship. So, yeah. That uh, that's long distance dedication for sure. Yes, I I also did an uh, did an animated video to do this. So if if there if there's anyone that have questions about it, just watch the animated videos. It just guys, if uh, you can check out his channel and find the video, let's see what other things people ask. Right now, I share an apartment with two other flatmates in the Netherlands, and one of them just doesn't clean at all. <laughs> yeah, I had the same problem. <laughs> and in our general, and in a, I can It's really weird. Living with parents or on your own is great. Mm, I don't know. I hate roommates. It's better if you live alone. Yes. Uh, again, where are the questions, guys? You guys didn't ask any questions here. No, I don't want to read that. No questions. Well, we can continue. Okay. Move on. How did you end up working for RTVS? Well, it was like a little work from school because my school uh, told me, yeah, we had the like prax like the practice, practice that, that yeah. we need to accomplish during our education. <laughs> education. So, uh, yeah, by the way, next door, thank you for the donation. Hi, Steven, Petivi, and Miguel. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if you know, but uh, the, the channel is monetized because obviously it wouldn't get pushed by YouTube. 
mm-hmm. but the profits go to charity. Oh, that's really that's really nice. So n- no money that is made on donations. So guys, anything that you donate or whatever we get will be given back. Uh, we chose uh Dobrianja. Ah, oh, Dobrianja, okay. Which a lot of people like Moon, do you trade your girlfriend for anything? No, no way. If no you way. were traveling 10 hours to see how could you? No, no way. Not like even my 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 girlfriend is my gem, is my is my little kitty. No, no, like no way, no way. I already lost her one time. We're like okay, texting need, each other, you and need we to knew tell like, us. yeah, it's a part of the animated story. Uh-huh, okay. But we basically started our relationship by talking to each other via messenger, like through internet. Mm. And I think we had like uh, we we both had the feeling that there is no chance to actually meet each other because we had just like th- there was like so like long distance between us, and um, we were really frustrated. And my girlfriend like didn't believe that we were gonna meet and uh she found she found uh, a boyfriend uh like besides me because she she thought we were just never gonna meet and uh yeah it really touched me because she she only wanted to feel like being in in the relationship because she couldn't have me so she actually had really like wanted to have like another boy so she pretend like she imagined like i am the boyfriend. Like it's really complicated it's really complicated I know but uh she broke up with him. It really touched me. She broke up with him and then her parents broke up and uh, that was uh, and it was like uh her her dad didn't allow me to go to to her apartments mm-hmm. and after they broke up he, uh, her parents broke up and only her mother stayed in the apartment. She actually allowed me to go to apartment. So there was so this was the opportunity to go to go and see her and there was a time when we kissed and stuff. That's like so, a, a telenovela. Yes, yes it is. Well, it's really hard to explain because there are so many aspects but you, you can see it in a video it has English subsi- uh, subtitles okay, on it. Okay, we we I promise you that we will watch that for sure. Let's see what else people are uh, Animation has I, I it's it's 35 minutes long so. <laughs> how long have you been filming on YouTube and how old is I have been noodle? filming on YouTube for eight years. What is the noodle? Do you know what they're referring to? Uh Nudlichka is na- is the internet ah. n- name for, of my girlfriend so. So they are translating with they're so cute. A noodle. Oh yeah, they're using translator. They are so cute, your <laughs> friend. <laughs> Miloyem, please. It's it's so cute that they're using translator to talk to you. Miloyem. Ale tie. Ale ale šetci um emotional písať po slovensky. Určite. Hm. Keď neviete, ako sa píše po anglicky, no tak napíšte to po slovensky, my to kľudne prečítame potom. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the Discord, but I don't see... Oh, shoot! Oh, you Where did refresh it? it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what happened oh, so to you guys? You, oh, okay. How did you... Ma- okay, we already read that. Do you like Slanina? Yes. So, that's a reference to we've been playing on Twitch, this Mario <laughs> Rabbit <laughs> game. <laughs> Man, as if you cannot tell, I'm like a huge Nintendo fan. Yes, I see. And I can see. Bowser is my favorite. So we're playing this game and there's these characters, these uh, rabbits and one of them looks like a uh, Prasiatko and we always <laughs> kill it and we're like, "Oh, Slanina." Is that, oh. <laughs> that the tiny Prasiatko I have somewhere here which gives me luck? Uh, would you No, we we already asked that question. Do you think it's better to live in Dubai or in any town in Slovakia? Because my sister is moving to Dubai and I want to know your opinion. Well, I actually explained that in my other animated video. Guys, Dubai. watch the animated videos. Yeshishi. <laughs> Yeshisha <laughs> Krista. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't really recommend to like, live in Dubai like, because the place is so empty, man. It's just desert. All you get is some few skyscrapers and desert that's all you get in dubai no it's boring for me it was boring i even got some like good budget and you live there i was on vacation but like wow. really high budget like in, in matter po- of pochka you you made a was that the vacation where it was catastrophe yes oh yeah i saw i saw that yes so this was my trip to dubai and uh yeah i actually spent some like big amount of money here and even then it was like a good experience for me like it's just So so like the, you you feel the emo- emotional emptiness when you go there. You only you know you only have the visual satisfaction and the materialistic satisfaction 
of the of, of the surrounding area around you in Dubai. But when you come back from Dubai, inside you feel nothing, like no nostalgia. Like I was like, oh, okay, it was nice, like oh, like gold and stuff. Like it's just, wow, a nice probably. Like yeah, everything feels expensive. Like everything smells good. But otherwise, no, like I, I feel no nostalgia. I was in Japan when I was in Japan. Now I feel like brutally like strong nostalgia from the place. But in Dubai, no, no chance. Like I, 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 I could be wrong. Like if anyone wants to go to Dubai and feel feel something different, then go there. I mean, money. I have different. I think that would be the only reason to go there for money. When it comes to money and buying things, yeah. what gives you more pleasure? Buying something for somebody or buying something for yourself? Buying something for somebody. Okay, why? Because I'm the same. Because uh, I like, well, I like the, the people's reaction to my gift. I, I would rather trade the... Okay, no, okay, just... It's simple. I just really like to see people's reaction when they're happy. I really like to see people happy because of me. And I think it's just because I I I I wasn't like really like attention seeker kid and uh I I didn't like get like much attention when I was a child and when I uh, now when I can you know surprise somebody and he can give me like like really good like good emotion and show me like some some uh, appreciation yeah, I I I I'm really happy to see that. So Something like that. <laughs> I understand you because I I always find that I buy myself something and yeah I'm happy for a little bit but when you make somebody happy it's it's much better. Yes, yes. Well, of course it makes me happy. Okay, I'm happy of like really really huge fi- things. Like if someone gifted me like I don't know this mouse or a new phone. I'll be like, okay, thank you. But if someone gifted me like all the R8 <laughs> okay, or thank you. <laughs> like a supercar, like this could actually put me on my knees, but nothing. Like I just cannot show like emotion when someone gifts me. Like I'm, I, I don't feel like I'm the person to be gifted. I want to gift other, per- uh, other mm. people. Like I don't like, I feel like I can get I everything you, myself. Bro. And uh, I feel you, bro. So, and, and this is the thing that I hate when people buy me stuff. Because, okay, I, I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm by no means anybody that can afford everything. But everything I want, I will do whatever to get it Yes, for myself. I love when somebody really thinks about what they give me mm-hmm. and not yes, the amount. Yes. yes, sure. Like this, like, okay. I really, I really trained to learn how to give people when I go my, when, when I go my girlfriend. Because you just cannot gift her roses every single time because it, it gets old you know so you really need to think or you know listen to her like what she talks about like from her childhood like what he never got what what, what she never got what she uh, really wants and stuff and you just have simply you know open notes and just write it down and and then after months 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 after she's not even mentioning it you, you just bring that to her it will actually actually touch her touch her inside because you know She knows that you re- you remembered it, and uh, yeah, a lot of men don't do that. No, no, they just and why? <laughs> I don't know because they're so lazy to have the creativity to come out with like a really great gift. I think, but for me, I really take care about gifting people. I really, really look to their childhoods, what they never got, what they really, really wanted. Like for me, for example, I never got like the car, like remote car like a car for remote like what was the like remote control re- car a remote controlled car i never got this toy and i really really wanted to this day and, I'll, I'll, and i'm always always talking like to everyone about that no one ever gifted me like every single christmas or every single birthday birthday like some people like not my parents but some people give me you know the cleaning the cleaning uh sprays for my car which they bought from the nearest gas station because they had no time they realized oh Sam has a birthday I'm gonna meet him in 10 Are seconds you serious? it's it's like really like disrespectful and I'm saying it all the time I've never ever got myself the the car the only the little you know I don't know 50 uh, euro 40 euro uh, euro you know the car remote mm. uh, remote control car and You know, no one is remembering. So I'm doing. So I don't want to do the same mistake that other people are doing with me. 
I want you know just to listen I, to people. I, 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 I have a surprise for you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I'm scared. I, I have a surprise for you. I'm really scared. Could you lift the desk? Could you press the... Guys, give us a second. It's okay. That's fine. Yeah, don't worry. It can go. You can lift it more. Don't be afraid. Oh, really? Yeah. There, there's also a counter. A counter, counter on that. Yeah, you, uh, okay, you can keep it there. And you okay. can check the chat. Check the chat. Um. Favorite Minecraft YouTuber, Moon. What would you do if there was not YouTube? I would probably be a cinema cinematographer or do like some videos and look what i have for you man what is this man <laughs> look what i have for you man <laughs> i mean what is that what wh why you can why? you you can lower the i don't i i don't want it what what is this <laughs> we're going to make your what? dream come how true did you, how <laughs> did you know that <laughs> Moon, we're going How to make. You know we're that? going to make your dream it come true. Like don't magic. don't ask questions. Just <laughs> wow, but how? Moon, we're going to make your dream come true. I'm in shock. What? It's a. <laughs> How did you know? It's a remote control. <laughs> Yoshi, he's the most. He's the coolest Mario character. Oh my God! No way! No yes. way! How did it even appear onto your <laughs> table? Like, what is that? How did you, how did I not see it? I have no idea. Wow, <laughs> guys, look what I got! Yo, be jealous! What is this? But wait, look, the, at, look the, at the green screen thingy going the, on. They cannot see the Georgie. Because oh, he black. Yoshi black. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, wow, thank you so much. You, but you, but, this but actually, it's, it's not over. I'm I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. To no, no. Can you can you lift the desk again? Because somebody has to play with you. Who? The noodle. And what about her? I'm like Oprah. What about her? Yo, this is crazy, guys. <laughs> this is crazy. What is happening? <laughs> no, what is this? Both. We're both gonna get like this remote thing. Oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna give this away. Like, I just cannot. No, you can't give it away. Nudlička, pozeraj čo mám. You're gonna race together. Look. I want a video. Wow. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm gonna send that to Those you. are extremely limited Yo, edition. Oh, be jealous, people. This They're... is the reason why you're seeing that on stream. Be jealous. I got myself a re... <laughs> Okay, yo, this this really touched me. Like this this really hit my I'm feelings glad. because you're the you you were the first one from my all life surrounding that actually know or knew what I wanted. Wow, they're no. they're extremely limited edition. Oh, no, I'm not gonna cry. Like, okay, no <laughs> crap. Like no. But you have to use them. Like I want a video of you playing with the the noodle. <laughs> sure. Wow. No, I'm actually touched, but I I, I ain't gonna cry there. I hope you will enjoy them and give him a oh good home. Oh my god, <laughs> people, people! What? But lower the desk now because like, we wow. look. Wow. Okay. Thank no. You. No. Just we need to talk. We need, we need to move on with the topic because oh my god, <laughs> why? I I just okay. I can't be asked. Oh no. Wait. No. I hope you will enjoy them. But we have some questions in the Discord. Oh, what was your dream job when you were younger? When you didn't think about being a YouTuber, uh, do the animated cartoons. Um, do you dar check the nas? What's the whole tip car? Is she watching? I don't think so. I don't know because she's she's on on the you know celebration oh, birthday she... birthday party of. Her oh, she's having a good time then. Yes. But why? All right. <laughs> well, yeah, I really want to to make like. Animated cartoons, which I am already doing now. So. Mm. And actually, that's the the question. Are you going to make an animated English cartoon? People want it. Wow. That's actually a really good idea. And they want well, they want a Miguelito character there. Well, actually, actually, I have an English subtitles on, my, on each of my animated videos. So, Basically, you I have the English actually, to do the voiceover, I, so why not? Well, I I think I have the English level to do it or be able to do it, and I know and I already have the subtitles. So if I can download the video and do the voiceover, I mean, why not? I think they would be great. Okay, so okay, let's just see it. Uh, can you somehow uh, go to YouTube and yeah? 
comments. We are on YouTube, so where where would you like me to go? Okay, so where's my mouse? So mouse is over here. Have you ever seen the the meme with the old lady looking at her PC like this? No, that's me right oh, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> that's me right now. <laughs> okay, so we <laughs> are on YouTube. So huge. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Where <laughs> where do you want to go? Yeah, and uh, right and uh, okay. Can I write and just uh, for sure? Just click the, click on the. I'm gonna type bar. in the search. So guys, for uh, the for the people watching, as we are now looking at uh, oh, YouTube. So Vishak Stuck. Okay, so this is my animated video w about my girlfriend, and uh, ah. I, I'm just gonna. You can actually switch the the stream. Yes, we can. So they can see. Am I not? Am I gonna get a copyright strike? No. Yeah, better not because I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna capture. Gonna be kind. Window capture. Like window capture. Yeah, source. And uh, yeah, window Chrome or whatever you're using. Uh, this looks like it. Yes. So this is the animated video, and uh, it says, uh, "I don't know if people can hear it." Um, yeah, so uh, they can see the subtitles in English. Yeah, no? they can see. Yeah, the subtitles in Slovak. So okay, ľudia, fine. Dneska prebereme tému, ktorú som chcel do konca života nechať v tajnosti. Well, actually, can you do the voiceover in English? Yes, I can, but I need to see the subtitles. Uh, okay, so wait. You can put the mouse there. I, I t only took it away because okay. you were banning people like crazy. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, guys, today we're going to talk about the subject which I wanted to keep a secret forever because so far is my most personal matter which I ever published on YouTube. So su subscribe if you haven't already. Meanwhile, everyone goes to, meet, to, to get some Coke and popcorn and will be laughing at my life full of awkward moments because this video didn't even have to come out. So I would be really happy to you to subscribe if you haven't already because I appreciate it a lot. And also, Christmas is coming, <laughs> and I would really love if you bought my merch on Munomerz.sk. Buy the merch. And uh, in a few days, my figure is out. More info in the description. Me and girls, ha 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 ha. Oh God, me and girls is a subject that I hated, especially when I was 15 years old. Well, yeah, I think I would be able to. You do can definitely bit. pull it off. Because I'm I'm just reading it like in real time, so I I I don't know like. Make a test. What test? Like the English test? No, like uh, te that test video where you oh, would do it in. Video. Oh, yeah. test video. All right. Um, well, well. Maybe this would be the best one to do the voiceovers in English. Yes, but I I think I'm really lazy to do it now. <laughs> no, no, no. no not, I mean, I mean, not now. I mean. Oh, like in general. Oh, in I general. have an idea to create like the, like a separate channel to upload like those animated videos because I have the files from the animated video like backed up, so I can just you know remove the Slovak voiceover and. Uh, Record the, the new English one and would actually fit. It. I can do your so. Spanish one for. And can you can you can you do hung Hungarian? Like, is oh, there anyone definitely. in this chat that can read Hungarian or know Hungarian? Like, is there anyone? Do I have anybody from who's Magyar? <laughs> but I mean, like Magyar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is there anyone from Hungary? They can. Mert uh, but a video but name I, a tam hoch I can do it for Spanish if you put the English subtitles. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Okay, so let's go uh, from the beginning, no? Oh, okay, so yeah. Buenos días. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre un tema que es muy común. Quiero hablar de un secreto que he mantenido por siempre y es muy personal para mí. <laughs> y nunca lo he publicado en YouTube. Si se suscriben, <laughs> lo sabrán. Pero mientras tanto, agarren una Coca-Cola y Poporopos que nos vamos a reír sobre todas las tonterías que he hecho. Porque en este video que acaba de salir... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, fu what, what is funny? The voice doesn't even fit my character whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> should, I, should, I, should I give it a more moon? Like, ¿por qué? <laughs> Porque lo que voy a decir yeah, ahora. <laughs> de verdad oh, lo voy a apreciar. <laughs> yeah, and this is the thing. Well, wait. Uh, no, but I'm getting hungry. Okay, so he's not hu from hungry, but he's hungry. Who's Duke Silla? We have Duco Silla. Who's that? Oh, he's probably spamming by aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying, sorry, I interrupted you. No, nothing. It just, yeah, it, you, you know, you know what's really like interesting that you actually know Slovak on a really, really, really good level. Thank you, but don't tell people. But, um, 
but you actually know no Czech like whatsoever you at actually, all. Wow, and that's really inter- interesting because we can understand each other one hundred percent. Okay, sometimes sometimes we have like little problems understanding when we don't know how to articulate uh, or uh, like talk properly. So we need like, can you repeat it again? But it's like really weird because for me, the Czech and Slovak language is the same. So it's I think it's the accent, you know. And yeah, some words are stressed are really differently. Like, I have no chance with the months, for example. No idea. Because even the Czech months are so strange. Yes. yes. They're so, so different. What about Japanese version, Moon? Are you still learning Japanese? Yeah, I'm still learning Japanese, but my Japanese is on level on, I don't know, is on level of, like, four-year-old kindergarten child. My Japanese is on, like, A2 level max. A1, A2 max. Wow. Like, oof. But I mean, you... I I think w- from what you told me about how you learned English, that you just pushed through and you made it happen. Well, I've never been to States, so I think my English would be even better if I went to States. So when are we going to New York? Wow. Uh, when are we traveling? When I'm, when I'm fully vaccinated because you know I, I have no other option. Probably you just need to wait a little. Yeah, probably, probably a requirement yeah. will. will be It's done. really interesting here in Moon talking English. He is really more quieter. Yes, I am. Yeah, so this is this is a good chance for a, for an English point here, guys. So you have quiet, quieter, and quietest, right? So it wouldn't be more quieter. So you well, would. If you want, I can speak louder. If you want, <laughs> yeah, I can be high. Yeah, I'm able to do this. Uh, do this. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> of course, I'm able to speak loudly. Moon, are you enjoying being there? Yay! <laughs> I'm enjoying being there. And if this video gets ten thousand likes, I will be on the next episodes. Uh, one, don't you? Why don't you look into camera lens while recording? Because I see more handsome men than you are all guys you know i wrote a really long message but i didn't fit in the 200 character limit so i put in this question chat nobody uh-huh. cares about your question <laughs> because if you get two <laughs> no, no we no, we no, have no. the question that well, luke yeah, is yeah, referring yeah, to yeah re- re- read the question but actually good point about not looking into the camera guys uh this is a podcast so yeah. we are looking into each other's eyes uh, and thinking about life A question for Moon. <laughs> Will you try recreating the Minecraft video on Windows XP, but by building the computer using newer components like an Intel i3 9th generation or up CPU combined with a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card or newer and a NVMe SSD? It would actually also be good if in the future if you want to make a game server of any kind by installing Linux on it later. I don't really care because I'm not a geek. I d- I don't know like <laughs> it's a good configuration but they want you to recreate the No Minecraft way video. I will recreate the video. <laughs> do you still so play messy. Minecraft? Yes, I do. I do, but I don't record it anymore. I think people really enjoyed it. It's time for <laughs> we are learning English. Oh, we have to practice guys. Like that's the whole point, right? To get Tell us about so your father was in the Slovak um Wait, your WTF, yours England, so very good. It is extremely good, oh. your England. <laughs> My Spain is, is fantastic, too. My England is good. Air Force, in the Slovak Air Force. Oh yeah, okay. So my my dad actually used to work as a as a plane navigator in the, in the Slovak Air Force. So He was basically just making sure the plane line uh, the plane lanes are just, you know, in the correct way so the planes goes the the right way and if any plane was just, you know, off mm-hmm. his trajectory, you mm-hmm. know, the lane, um, you know, those super like I don't know, how is it called in English like this really like fat like you have the you have the like basic plane, you know, mm-hmm. the uh, the international the uh the plane that, you know, takes people from country to country and then you have mm. those one seater you know the fast like super fast supersonic supersonic yeah mm. supersonic so so if any you know of the planes carrying people left you know or leaves you know its line then those supersonic planes will go and check the plane if it's not kin- kidnapped they will es- ex- escort it and yes yes so he just made sure like, he, he was just working like in in 
well, he was one of those tens in the, the tower. People. He was working in the air traffic controller uh, tower, or yeah, in but in Presho, like he was, you know, making sure like the regional, oh, wow. you know, trajectories are. In, in there's the a direction. there's a military airport in Presho. I thought yeah, there was one in, in like, Zilina. Well, yeah, there is, but not as important as in uh, in other parts of Slovakia. Okay. So he was only the part that was used checking if everything's right. Because I I actually I I'm going back to teaching at the airport next oh. week because I used to teach mm-hmm. air traffic controllers. Oh, right. Okay. So I will do th- that next week. He was also a football player. Yeah, he was. Qu- quite a decorated he for scoring. He actually to become a soccer player. And what happened? Player. No, I, I he didn't enjoy it whatsoever. No. You you mentioned that like you mentioned that that was not your thing, but you have a very interesting path. You started off with dancing. Yes. So <laughs> so tell me about that path from dancing all, all the right, way so, to all music right, so clubs. My, so the reason why I was like so I, I actually used to play a violin a violin and piano and guitar for many years and the only reason was because my mother used to be a teacher and uh she wanted to have like really great mm, uh relevance or you know so people can know her by me like okay so she like Mrs Mrs Mishikova mm-hmm. uh, the former teacher has like really really like talented son so she wanted to have like good name because of my skills so that was the reason why she you know she checked me on on you know the dancing lesson to so i had so that i can find my opportunity to actually get known to something what so, kind of dancing because that's not specified uh, in i don't really remember because i was a little little child mm-hmm. i was i was like seven or eight years old so i don't really remember correctly but Um it is really really good uh, when I'm going to have a child I'm going to o- o- also you know check into I don't know boxing, violin, piano, just swimming so my child can you know try everything and just find it's you know a hobby the right thing that sh- he or she really enjoys to do because it really helped me and now I see it like I really hated playing playing violin because it well, it was no it was not cool like nobody was appreciating it appreciating it and I was really really jealous of people that actually came from school like ho- came home from school they did nothing they could just watch tv the whole afternoon and i had to go to the violin lessons to piano lessons like every single day i just had something somewhere to go but you were quite good at violin yeah and uh, but now i appreciate it. like now when i'm 21 years old i really appreciate it because i do a video i could just take my violin i actually know you still I play? play yeah i i still know how to play it and i know how to play already so i just take it to my advantage i play like meme songs i already have the video on you know uh really really popular half a million views or something like when i play like 69 i haven't memes. seen it i need to check it out oh no i did i did see it Yes, I did see yes. it. So, yeah. uh yeah, it's actually now I really take that like as as an advantage. When I was a child, I hated it because it was no cool. It, it was not cool. I didn't enjoy it like I I hated it like it, it, it just wasn't my thing, but mm-hmm. now I see it, like it as a really really good skill and I'm I'm just proud I know something like that good because violin is just hardest it's the hardest musical instrument to play on and I know it just because i I attended as a child. It's something like you can be jealous of someone speaking two languages just because their parents are half like you. I can be jealous mm-hmm. of you like speaking English and Spanish. And I don't and, know what you'd be and, jealous and, about what and is you and, and you don't and you don't even know <laughs> how, how you how you learn that. No, actually, and to you me, it's you the don't same. remember it. It's uh, it, it's like someone was jealous of me because I speak Slovak and Czech in same time. I, I don't know how I learned Czech. It's just automatic so i mean this is how i feel about violin i'm really really glad i i i, I was attending the violin classes because now it's just it's cool it's cool <laughs> have you ever heard or have you ever seen this being done and actually you guys as well i can show you this yes do you know what that means to salt something uh, no, like this not this but this no what so is this? this is actually a symbol that is used in lieu of an expression in english connected with violins So when somebody's telling you the saddest story that is not really sad and you want to like make fun of them you you know the imagery of somebody playing the violin yes so this is what we use like you are playing the world's smallest violin oh, for somebody okay <laughs> so whenever you see it, whenever you see in <laughs> a movie really good, yeah. somebody telling a story and you see this it means that they're playing the world's smallest violin for their sad story yeah so If you're just crying because of a small thing, I just do, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So. <laughs> why Why is it, going back to your education, why is it that you change schools, primaries, three times? Yeah, because, I, I well, I was born in Sabino, and uh, I automatically 
joined the first primary school in Sabino, so the first and second class, the first and second, uh, what is the first and second grade, mm. and uh, my grades were just over the top. Like I, I was like best in everything. Like from the whole class, I was just like most uh, the cleverest kid in the, in the class. So my parents decided to um, to were to you B flush? I wasn't or just Shikovni. Just Shikovni. <laughs> <laughs> intelligent, <laughs> you're, yeah. You're Slovak is an average. Choy Rosdiel. Shikovni a intelligent. Intelligence intelligence means that you have the IQ to do it, but um Shikovni, like it's clever. You actually know the problem that ha- ha- has been never ever shown to you and you actually know how to deal with this. And intelligence is that you know like the 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 basic you know scheme and you can actually do the maths to do the the pro- like yeah it, it it is a bit different but okay whatever so it's my parents, to English. so my, my 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 parents decided to put me on on the higher level school where like so the third fourth and fifth grades I was in Presho which is like the biggest town near Sabino and um, I did terrible here because my you know my puberty puberty started and I started to, you know not caring about school anymore um and my grades were like just so bad like really like i i was even happy i completed the fifth grade because i had like four like okay a b c d yeah i had d from math d you had the d <laughs> yeah from math on my final exams in fifth grade so they decided to put me back to sabino by completing my primary school so that was the reason why 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 you know why i tried to be on three different two. Uh, schools. By the way, there was like one question. Interesting question you saw. How did you how did yeah. you both learn English and would you recommend the same learning method to beginners in these days? So how did you learn English? I went to Stadna Schola. <laughs> and I I learned from uh, Pani Tsigankova. Teraz mam A2, myslím. Neviem čo. Mam certifikát tam, ale neviem čo, ale určite mam A2 angličtine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah you actually need to to you know yeah you put your blood and sweat into learning english it was so hard to learn it. that's right but how did you yeah so for me i had i had i have been learning english since the kindergarten but i i was always like a1 level like i didn't know like much But then when I was like 14 or 15, started a YouTube thing. I was starting, you know, to see other people talking English and mainly the Dutch people because that pe- Dutch and Swedish people are known like they are really, really good at English, yeah. like in general. I was like, wow, how can those people learn English just because of the fact they're Dutch or Swedish? So I can do this as well. So then I really, really kid myself and I was doing nuts. Like I had been learning so hard from like, I don't know, uh, my seventh grade to eighth grade, like the one year I just increase my English level from A1 or A2 to B2, for example. And that was just, you know, finding my uh, accent a bit because I was combining American accent words and uh, British accent words in, into one sentence. So I had to, you know, to find those things out. Mm. And um, now I have the private English lessons with my friends, uh, with my friends. So I do speak English like quite often, but not as often. That I, can. I, don't, I, I can be never considered as native speaker because everyone could hear my accent i've never been to state so but well, uh, I, there's barely little accent but, there so but you, I you, have you just have too high of a of a <laughs> yeah, thank threshold you. but thank you thank <laughs> you but uh i i personally have the c1 certification damn so respect. yeah respect so yeah i can like some I, i can consider my myself as an advanced like more advanced english speaker but I have a lot of work to do, like to get to even like I I still do a lo- like a lot of grammar mistakes, and, uh, and people can fine. definitely say like I I I I'm from different country like Slovakia or something like that. So. Would you uh, maybe t- just take a minute to explain to maybe our young watchers why it is such an important thing to 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 try to learn these foreign languages when you are young because it's your tool like if you're young you learn very fast you learn how to get used to learning fast <laughs> basically because everything you do as in the, in your yo- in your youth as you're young you get used to really really quickly because there is like you know the uh, everything in your head and in your, in your soul just you know um evolves really really quickly so if you so The sooner you you learn, the sooner you'll you'll 
sooner you start to learn, the sooner you get learned. So, I mean, if English is a really, really, really great tool uh, to communicate like all around the world, so I would nothing just recommend it to you. And I always tell, it's always easiest when you raise a baby speaking two languages. Yeah, it's like, it's great. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. I think that you could teach your your baby English oh, and yeah, your yeah, wife's yeah, law. I'm gonna do that. Do you think you can play Mayonaka no do- door? Does that make sense? Is that a violin thing? Do you think you can play Mayo Mayonaka no door? Stay with me on violin. I don't know what is Mayonaka. I think it's like an anime or something like that. I, I I'm not really sure, but yeah, just give me few minutes and I guess I can. You know, all, all of the songs that I uh played in the video, like the, all the 69 meme songs, actually rehearsed them for one day like i had i had one day to actually learn how to play all those songs to record it so isn't that nerve-wracking to learn so many n- well uh, i know how to play violin already so it's not that hard but yeah it's it's kind of annoying because when you don't play for so long it's it's, it's kind of hard i'm not beluga is saying but actually there was a comment from lm official i am I'm at the elementary school and there they have the vocab B, uh, which is the copy of Duolingo, but teacher can select the words which we we are learning in the app, in this app. Yeah, Duolingo is a really great app, but it, it lacks a lot, a lot of things. For example, you know, communication, communication is really, really important. Like in Japan, like in uh, when I was in Japan, I was surprised that not many people speak English because... Japanese people only learn grammar, but they don't speak. And this is the thing with Duolingo. Like in schools, it's really, really important to have the con- conversation because otherwise you have no, no, no opportunity to practice what you learned. And this is the thing that I was actually, I had been, I have been learning uh, Japanese on the in- in- intense level for one year now. Mm-hmm. And I could actually keep up talking Japanese on the same level with my Japanese friend. We spoke English on the same level as my ja- as 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 was my Japanese, and he had been or he have been learning English for his whole life, mm. and he was actually the same level in in English when I was in Japanese, and I only learned it for for I, I have been learning it for one year, and he he have been learning it for all life. The only reason why he wasn't able to to keep speaking English to me like better as I was in Japanese was that uh, he didn't have like any conversation levels in his school Makes whatsoever. Sense. So that's the main problem in, in, in Japanese, in, uh, not Japanese or English learning, but you know, it, in it the usually, language learning in general. It's usually the case with these ethnocentric nations, you know, where the culture is so strong, the language is so strong that they, it's not that they don't have the chance, but they don't need to. Yes. Like in the U.S., is, people don't really learn foreign languages unless they know them from their parents, right? One good way that I always tell people to learn is to follow the language in something that they enjoy. Because you cannot force yourself to learn. Not everybody can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if it's YouTube that you like to do, then watch YouTube videos in English. Keep the T tool key, but try to watch them in English. If it's movies, do that. If it's games, because that's the only way that you're going to learn a language by finding something that you enjoy yeah. in it. Yeah, but do you do... But uh, you know what? Like, I don't even learn english anymore like i don't look to any books like i just use what i what i what i learned and just increase the level of it by speaking only by speaking so i mean it's really nice to get to the level where you can learn the language without looking to books so you only communicate and learn by that like this do you have really foreign friends somehow? yes i do i do and do you hang out with them often yeah i mean yeah w- what is considered as often <laughs> uh, at least once a week No, once or two times a month. Because if you if you really want to polish it, because that's really what you need to do. Mm. You need to polish. Mm, yeah. uh, it's <coughs> it's not that you need to learn anything else, but because you want to achieve a very high level, so once a week is is good to do it. Uh, if if <laughs> if you know Spanish so good, would you make another podcast alguna cosa po spanielski in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Niecho en español would be the name <laughs> Nietzsche and Espanol Nietzsche and, and Espanol. it is possible but I think that for me to do that I first need to build this this channel before we do that guys we're getting to the end of the podcast so it's your last chance to ask Samuel any questions 
Yes, it's great. One of my classmates developing cheating programs for the app. So basically, and like, hey, Matthew, can you send me that exe file which can broke that system? And this is uh, th system. this is what I mean that if you <laughs> if you don't have a way that you like to do it, then you're not gonna learn. No, no. What's up, Narcoman and me? Oh God, get no. out of here, man! Just get <laughs> lost. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> a question for both of you: Have you comply com Com completed. Oh, have you <laughs> have, have you compli uh, compiled with the uh, N and N rule so far? <laughs> Be honest. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. When you have like, if if you have a really really hot girlfriend, it's really hard to complete. The no, not dilemma. <laughs> Moon, I donated twenty check corona. As Musark is good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you so much. If What is true. Musark? Musark, I have no idea. Moon, last question. Did you like this podcast? Yeah, I'm enjoying it really, really much. Have you have you got some stuck <laughs> What? Have you ha have you ever had a relationship to I don't know becoming a pilot? No. No. It question look question allowed. for Moon. Would you try being a vegetarian? Uh How did he learn Slovak? How did you learn Slovak? How did I learn Slovak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so actually t t taking t taking taking uh taking it seriously, I went to this is true, I went to Štátna škola. Bol ah. som tam 3 roky. A uh, teraz mám certifikát A2. Ale končil som pretože učiteľka iba robila gramatika a ja Nepačí sa gramatika. Uh -huh. A potrebujem prax. Áno, presne tak. Lebo pracoval som v Starbucks 5 rokov. Mm -hmm. Tak vieš čo? Pracoval som normálne 40 hodín cez týždeň mm -hmm. a potom cez víkend mm -hmm. Starbucks. Yes. A nemal, nemal som voľný čas. Mm -hmm. For 5 years I was working all of the time. You know the thing is when when you speak Slovak, I actually see the different sparkles in your eyes. Really, you, like you're retardation. Like a different person, yes. Like retardation, like people tell. Me <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 exactly retardation. But um, people tell me that I speak like uh, the old Western movies, like the Indians and <laughs> in the their mountain go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, but your Slovak is good. Will you ever make? tutorials how to make animations on your channel well, yeah i'm actually planning to your opinion when friends or strangers ha do fun of my english i just want to learn speak and they just judge me uh, that's um, a good that's a good one and actually what i can tell you is simona is that uh yeah there's people will make fun but i think people who don't speak english well make fun because nobody that speaks well Or nobody that is a native speaker will make fun of you because learning a foreign yeah, language is hard. Everyone tries its best, best. So I don't actually get. Samo, how long did you wait? How how long did you learn Japanese? For, for for how long have you been learning Japanese? Um, it's been four years, but really actively one year, like four years where I was two. Yeah, I had been two years totally inactive. How Sam Sam Bozok is asking? How long do you? Do you edit your videos? So we discussed it. Yes, I, for I very, very. There was a question there for from Yiminek. Uh, what's the best funniest English phrase you can think of? I would say f the five f finger discount. Do you know this? No. So five finger discount is when you steal something. You just apply the five finger discount, oh, all right. and and you do that by making a very specific sound, guys. And this is like getting into really <laughs> American <laughs> English, right? You have to say the word yoink. Yoink. So if this belongs to you, Samuel, and I want to take the five finger discount, I just go yoink, and ownership transfers to me. Oh, I also <laughs> heard like in America, it's really popular. What was the, was the stealing? Yes. No, no, no stealing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But the three seconds uh, rule. rule, five. It's five. So if so if maybe during so Corona if three. You, so if your food fell into the poop, you actually three seconds to pick it up. Yeah, like nothing happened. Yeah, this is like that's sick. <laughs> Question for Miguel: Can, you send, me Can you send me some food? I don't know how to make water hot. Yeah, for sure, Rolik. Uh, thank you for subscribing, by the way. For sure, if, <laughs> for if sure. guys look at my Instagram, I have so many stories there with cooking. Like I cook a lot, 
So we are getting towards the last four minutes and this will be the last question. I thought that my English is great, but I was for but first time I was at my holiday in Croatia and there and here I just forgot about all the grammar and basic things. And all time, I wasn't even able to say which ice cream I wanted. Yeah, this, you know what? This happened in, for me in Japan, uh, to me in Japan. I was really? in uh, Japan and f- from the first day, I tried to speak Japanese wherever I was. If, if, when I was in taxi, when I was in a restaurant, when I was in Starbucks. And people were really, really upset um, of me, you know, uh, with my, with me being foreigner, speaking Japanese or mm. trying to speak Japanese Are with like this kind of hair. Like I was mm. really like visible for all japanese people and uh, i was in starbucks i was ordering um like the special halloween you know uh, coffee or whatever mm-hmm. i have really like i, I was really uh, hungry and um thirsty so i really wanted this you know coffee and uh i i told the, the lady in japanese hi how are you like i would like to get some coffee and she said like okay which type i said the halloween had uh, the halloween one She was like, okay, uh, do you want it like uh, for yourself like, to drink it here and to take it away? I said, take it away. And while she was, you know, asking me the next question, like which like which payment do you choose, like by cash or by car? I I just I just, you know, realized how many people were looking at me. Like so many Japanese people were like, wow, like foreigners speaking Japanese, they, they you know. Uh, like it was so weird that so many people were looking at me that I got like so stressed out that I actually forgot the whole language and oh, she was God. she was asking me if I want to pay with card or with cash and I just felt like I completely you know like my Japanese just totally disappeared of like I could say like can I pay with card like um um kado de harate mui desu ka like can, can i be your car but now i know the sentence but then i it just completely disappeared so i can really feel like this guy when, when you really feel the reality and you don't know the language it's really hard but you only need to practice but I this thought, happened and i feel you because it happened to me i time. thought that you would say that they started running like gojira gojira <laughs> when you were speaking <laughs> japanese but the thing um, is that i remember my first time in slovakia mm-hmm. And actually, that I was coming to Hlavna, not Hlavna Stanica, Autobusova Stanica, and I wanted a bagueta, a chicken bagueta. Uh-huh. And I had no idea of any Slovak word. And back then, in 2006, there was no like people speaking English or yes. wanted to speak because people knew. So I was there in front of the lady, like this. I pretended you are the lady, and she's asking me, no, choke says, choke says. And I'm, I was pointing to the bagueta, but she had uh, shunka and uh, all this stuff, and I didn't yeah. know how to say it, so I was like, "Fuck, fuck, 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 fuck." And like, that's why, how she. Un- what is guys doing? <laughs> but that's how she understood me. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes yeah. you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to make mistakes. It is okay to make <laughs> mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like you, uh, you have no other option. Poor. Samuel. Poor you moon. Samuel, it's uh. It's already the end of the podcast. Oh, it's been two hours. Okay. It's been two hours. Already. W- before oh. we end, of course, I would like you to please leave the audience with a farewell message. Um, maybe a message that you want to give uh, to them. Well, I hope you could understand me. I know my English is terrible, but I'll work on that. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really happy you came from my Instagram to see, my s- to see me. And thank you for all the moderations for taking care of the chat while we were discussing the really interesting i hope really interesting topics and uh i hope i see you in the next video recently i've been uploading but i'm planning to do like really really great videos and subscribe and um um in Eng- english animation yes maybe i'll do an english animation yeah, now you i can understand you the whole time great job uh, thank you very much so yeah it was thank you very much for the invitation my pleasure It's it's also my pleasure to be here. Thank you. It's it's it, it's been really great, really quality time, <laughs> really great quality time of talking to you. So yeah, thank you for having me. It was a really nice experience for me, nice. my first ever English podcast, and uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you so much, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you follow Samuel on what are your handles on Instagram? Studio Moon TV, TikTok. Studio Moon TV with three O's. And on <laughs> and on YouTube is, of course, Studio Moon, Studio TV. Moon TV. Thank you again for watching and look forward to next week where we have some interesting guests. We will have Roman from Meso Od Romana 
<laughs> you know Roman? No, no, no. The way you pronounce it is just funny. It's it's good, but it's fun. Mess up, Roman. No, it's it's great. It's great. It's great. Yeah, but yeah, I I know the guy. And we will have Petra from Mad Monk, the oh, marketing C, uh, Mad Monk. chief marketing officer. So right. that's a bonus episode. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for driving, guys. He drove from Prague just to be here, and he's driving back. Man, it's crazy. Thank you so much and my pleasure. Guys, see you next week.